History of Microscope The microscope, as we know it today, has a long and rich history dating back to the 1600s. The earliest known version of a microscope was invented in the late 1500s by Dutch spectacle makers, Zacharias Janssen, and his father Hans Janssen. The device consisted of two lenses that were mounted in a tube and were used to. This early version of the microscope was called the Janssen microscope. In the late 1600s, the Dutch scientist Anton van Leeuwenhoek improved upon the Janssen microscope by creating a single-lens microscope that was capable of magnifying objects up to 270 times. This was the first true microscope. He used this device to make many groundbreaking observations, including the discovery of single-celled organisms such as bacteria. Over the next few centuries, the microscope underwent several improvements, including the invention of the compound microscope. This device used two or more lenses to magnify the specimen, allowing for greater detail and clarity. The compound microscope was first developed in the late 1600s by the English scientist Robert Hooke and became widely used in the 1700s. In the late 1800s, the invention of the microscope with an internal illumination system improved the ability to see delicate details of specimens. This was made possible by the development of electric lighting and the introduction of more advanced optics. The modern microscope, with its advanced optics and electronic capabilities, has become an essential tool in many fields of science and medicine. It has been used in areas such as cell biology, genetics, and pathology and has made countless contributions to our understanding of the world and the life that exists within it. What kind of microscopes that we have? There are several types of microscopes that are currently available, including Light microscopes, these are the most used microscopes and use light to illuminate the specimen. They come in several variations, including the compound microscope, the stereo microscope, and the fluorescence microscope. Electron microscopes, these use a beam of electrons to create images of the specimen, allowing for a much higher level of magnification than light microscopes. There are two main types of electron microscopes, the transmission electron microscope, TM, and the scanning electron microscope, CM. Confocal microscopes, these are specialized light microscopes that use laser technology to create a highly focused and intense light source. They are commonly used in cell biology and fluorescence microscopy. Atomic force microscopes, these use a cantilever with a sharp tip to scan the surface of a specimen and create a high-resolution image. They are used in materials science, nanotechnology, and biology. X-ray microscopes, these use X-rays to create images of the internal structure of materials and are commonly used in materials science and engineering. Ultraviolet visible microscopes, these use ultraviolet light to create images of biological specimens and are used in the study of cellular and molecular biology. Which model is good for biology? There are several models of microscopes that are well suited for biological research, including Confocal microscopes, these are ideal for cell biology and fluorescence microscopy, as they allow for high-resolution imaging of fluorescently labeled specimens. Light microscopes, particularly the compound and stereo microscopes, are commonly used in cell biology and developmental biology. Electron microscopes, transmission electron microscopes, TEMS, are used in cellular and molecular biology, while scanning electron microscopes, CMs, are commonly used in studies of cellular and tissue structure. Ultraviolet visible microscopes, these are useful for studying the structure of cells and tissues and are commonly used in the study of cellular and molecular biology. The best microscope for a particular study will depend on the specific needs of the researcher and the type of specimen being studied. Many research institutions have a variety of microscopes available for use, allowing researchers to choose the best option for their study. Which model is good for home experience? For home use, a good option would be a light microscope, specifically a stereo microscope. This type of microscope is affordable and easy to use, making it an excellent choice for home experimentation and hobbyists. Stereo microscopes use two separate lenses to provide a three-dimensional view of the specimen, making it ideal for observing plants, insects, and other small specimens. 
They also come in a variety of sizes and magnifications, allowing you to choose a model that fits your needs and budget. If you're interested in studying microorganisms, such as bacteria or fungi, a simple light microscope may not provide enough magnification. In that case, a more advanced option like a digital microscope with a USB connection to your computer would be a good choice. These digital microscopes offer a wider range of magnification and allow you to save and share images of your observations. What is the around price for any kind of model? The price of a microscope can vary depending on the type, features, and brand. Here are some general price ranges for different models. Light microscopes, stereo microscopes can range from $50 to $500, while compound microscopes can range from $200 to $2,000. Electron microscopes, transmission electron microscopes, TEMS, can cost anywhere from $200,000 to $3 million, while scanning electron microscopes SAMs, can cost between $50,000 to $500,000. Confocal microscopes, these can cost between $100,000 to $500,000 or more. Atomic force microscopes, these can cost anywhere from $50,000 to $500,000. X-ray microscopes, these can cost anywhere from $100,000 to several million dollars. Ultraviolet visible microscopes, these can cost anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000. Digital microscopes, these can range from $50 to $1,000, depending on the quality and features. It's important to keep in mind that the cost of a microscope can also vary depending on the country and region, as well as the availability of used models. When choosing a microscope, it's a good idea to set a budget and research different options to find the best fit for your needs and budget. What is the around price for a home microscope? For a home microscope, the price can range from around $50 to $1,000 depending on the type of microscope and features you are looking for. A basic stereo microscope, which is a good option for hobbyists and beginners, can cost between $50 to $300. A compound microscope, which offers more magnification and features, can cost between $200 to $1,000. A digital microscope, which connects to your computer and allows you to save and share images, can cost between $50 to $500. These digital microscopes come in a range of magnifications and can be an excellent choice for those who want to observe microorganisms and other small specimens. It's important to keep in mind that the price of a microscope can also vary depending on the country and region, as well as the availability of used models. When choosing a microscope, it's a good idea to set a budget and research different options to find the best fit for your needs and budget. What kind of lens does a microscope have? The type of lens a microscope has depends on the specific model and purpose of the microscope. Some common types of lenses used in microscopes include Achromatic lenses, these are the most basic type of lens used in light microscopes. They are designed to reduce chromatic aberrations, color distortion, and provide a clear image. Plan achromatic lenses, these are a type of achromatic lens that are optimized for high-resolution imaging and are commonly used in high-end light microscopes. Fluorite lenses, these are high-quality lenses that provide excellent color correction and resolution. They are commonly used in fluorescence microscopes. Electron microscopes lenses Electron microscopes use electromagnetic lenses, rather than optical lenses, to focus the electron beam onto the specimen. The lenses are arranged in a series and use magnetic fields to control the beam. X-ray microscopes lenses X-ray microscopes use special X-ray optics to focus the X-rays onto the specimen. These optics can include multi-layer mirrors and Fresnel lenses. Atomic force microscopes lenses Atomic force microscopes use a cantilever with a sharp tip to probe the surface of the specimen. The position of the cantilever is monitored using a laser and photo detector to create a high-resolution image of the surface. The type of lens a microscope has will impact the quality and resolution of the image, as well as the overall cost of the microscope. It's important to consider the type of lens when choosing a microscope for your needs. What about zooming in microscope? Some microscopes, especially digital microscopes, 
have the capability to zoom in for greater magnification. The zoom function allows you to magnify the specimen more than the fixed magnification of the microscope. This can be especially useful for studying small specimens or for observing details that may not be visible at lower magnifications. The quality of the zoom function can vary depending on the type of microscope and the manufacturer. Some digital microscopes have a digital zoom, which simply enlarges the image on the screen. Others may have a mechanical zoom, which physically adjusts the magnification of the lens. Mechanical zoom functions are of higher quality and provide a clearer image. When choosing a microscope with a zoom function, it's important to consider the quality of the zoom and the type of specimens you will be observing. A microscope with a high-quality zoom can be a great asset for observing details and studying small specimens. However, a low-quality zoom may result in a blurry or indistinct image, making it difficult to observe the specimen. And summary. In summary, microscopes are instruments used to magnify and study small objects or specimens. There are several types of microscopes, including light microscopes, electron microscopes, confocal microscopes, atomic force microscopes, X-ray microscopes, ultraviolet visible microscopes, and digital microscopes. The type of microscope you choose will depend on the type of specimens you will be observing and the level of detail you require. The lenses used in microscopes are critical to the quality of the image and can range from basic achromatic lenses to high-quality fluorite lenses. Some microscopes also have the capability to zoom in for greater magnification. When choosing a microscope, it's important to consider your needs, budget, and the quality of the microscope and its lenses. Microscopes can range in price from $50 to several million dollars, depending on the type, features, and brand.